Just when we thought he couldn't surprise us anymore with his choice of opponents, Jake Paul's next opponent appears to be one of the most controversial guys in the world. Indeed, more controversial than even Jake Paul himself. We get how absurd that sounds, but it's the truth. Jake Paul and Andrew Tate have been rumored to be engaged in a contest, and it now looks like the contest is closer than originally anticipated. The two are depicted in a video battling in the ring. If this fight takes place, can there be a victor? Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at how celebrities react to Andrew Tate versus Jake Paul. Yeah, you heard it right. Number 5. The Stare Down In response to reports of an impending fight between Jake Paul and Andrew Tate, the YouTuber turned boxer produced a face-off video with a controversial former kickboxer on social media. The tweet includes a video of shirtless Paul and Tate squaring off in a boxing gym with the phrase, Negotiations. Tate's representative disclosed exclusively to Sports Mail that negotiations with Paul are still ongoing. They concluded that a hypothetical fight between Tate and Paul would be an event that the entire world would remember. Paul is fresh off a of victory over former MMA superstar Anderson Silva, the one that garnered between 200,000 and 400,000 pay-per-view buys. As he told his brother Logan, the fighter and promoter admitted on a recent podcast that the crowd was slightly underwhelming, and that this is quite revealing, but we shall return to it later. Many of Tate's online posts that have emerged from sites such as Twitter have sparked controversy. The US-UK dual citizen has insulted sexual assault victims, asserted that suffering is not genuine, and self-identified as both sexist and misogynist. Paul exhibits sexism and has blamed his social media groups for being censored. Tate has a 76-9 record in kickboxing and a 2-1 record in mixed martial arts, but he failed as a boxer, going 4-3 with two losses to novice fighters. Paul has a perfect record of 6-0, with all victories coming against novice fighters and retired MMA legends. On October 29th in Glendale, Arizona, he defeated UFC legend Silva by a majority decision. Recently, Paul discussed Tate's Twitter suspension and the likelihood of a fight on his brother's talk show. Andrew Tate should not be banned in my opinion. Paul remarked that he cherishes free speech and thinks that private businesses should give people like him a second chance, but that Andrew Tate would never risk his alpha male status to fight him or Logan in the ring. You're terrified to fight against one of us, Andrew Tate. Notice how he ultimately made it about himself, Paul's experience at doing this, and his plea to fight Tate indicates his lack of character rather than his desire to be acknowledged as a strong boxer. Number 4. Paul and Tate Tate has defended Paul, who's frequently ridiculed for his level of ring competition. Tate told YouTuber Rob Moore that he considers Jake Paul to be an extremely dedicated artist. He's more than just a YouTuber. Jake Paul is an accomplished boxer. The assumption that he's only a YouTuber is ludicrous. Given that he commits his life to train and has abundant time, money, and resources, Jake Paul is a boxer and he's without a doubt the best influencer currently competing. Jake Paul is not just a YouTuber, he's dedicated himself to becoming a boxer. However, the fact that he's the best fighter among influencers does not necessarily indicate that he's a good boxer. Number 3. Banning Tate You could browse TikTok for an hour and almost surely find a reference to Andrew Tate or a video of him promoting his online courses by commenting on women's fan pages. In recent months, the kickboxer turned YouTube influencers' channels viral videos and appearances on popular podcasts have propelled his profile. Tate has become a symbol for a new generation of the Manosphere, accumulating millions of followers across social media platforms and gaining acceptance from men's rights activists and far-right influencers despite the fact that the majority of his content is extremely mundane. His misogynistic and harsh remarks about women, which are primarily intended for young men and consist of general advice on self-motivation and wealth, have earned him a reputation. Tate says that he requires female dominance. He has declared that he does not believe that men and women are equal and that women cannot fight and can only scream and flee. Andrew Tate was ultimately banned from all social media platforms for violating their policies. Because of the things he stated, TikTok permanently banned him, which brings us back to Jake Paul. Number 2. Inconsistency versus Consistency why is Jake Paul receiving internet criticism for his fight opinion? Because he's giving Andrew Tate an opportunity to prove himself. Now, many in Jake's corner would say that he's attempting to knock out Tate, which many would think is a positive development. However, even if Tate is unconscious, Jake's behavior is not justifiable. Furthermore, it is counterproductive that Jake Paul feels that Tate does not deserve to be banned from social media because of the basis of free expression. It is not free speech, it is hate speech, and there's already enough hatred in the world. A boxing match may occur between the two villains, each of whom is a controversial figure in their own right, as several fans have already remarked. How do you cheer for a villain when they're both the bad guy? 
Number 1. Proving his worth. This fight's absurdity is heightened by Jake Paul's belief that this is the match that everyone wants to see. Even after his fight with Anderson Silva, he challenged Nate Diaz. Tate is a well-known kickboxer, yet he's a poor boxer who has lost to novice opponents. Despite his disadvantages, Jake has engaged in 6 fights in a short period of time. Do we really expect this fight to be a masterpiece as Jake Paul claims? How can one demonstrate his value when fighting an inferior opponent? Indeed, this fight reveals Jake Paul's lack of integrity in boxing. This concludes the examination of the hypothetical fight between Jake Paul and Andrew Tate and the reasons why it would likely be a bad idea. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting. And if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates. And until then, stay tuned.